In this video you will learn how to implement validation inside React Material UI by using custom components and React hook form library. So we have two amazing libraries in React. First of all is Material UI with lots of components and styling out of the box. And secondly React hook forms which can provide for us a nice forms with validation and all needed stuff. The main problem is that we can't simply throw components from Material UI inside React hook form, it won't work. And things like validation is quite tricky to implement when you want to use them together. So inside my project I already installed React hook form for this forms and validation and all dependencies of Material UI like Material, Icons Material and two libraries of Emotion. And additionally to React hook form I installed hook form resolver so we can use custom resolvers for our validation. And here is our initial form. As you can see we have a some form component with this markup. It's just a paper component from Material UI for some nice styling typography with H4 some form. And here is a form which is completely empty from React hook form. This is how it looks like. It's just a title and a submit button. As we are using TypeScript, our first step is to write down which fields we have inside our form. This is why here let's create an interface, form values, and our first value here will be text value, which is a string. Why is that? Because the first component that we will implement is just an input, but we want to use it inside React hook form and it is not easy. Now we can use this form values inside our use form, and this is also data that we are getting back. And in order to use an input inside our component, we need to build a shareable input component which will use Material UI together with React hook form. This is why inside source I want to create a new folder, form components, where we can store all custom components. And our first component here will be form input text dot and here I want to export our form input text component. And what we want to return here is a controller. And as you can see, controller is coming from React hook form. And this is exactly the possibility to use custom components together with React hook form. So first of all, inside our controller, we must specify a name. And this is extremely important because this is our unique identifier for the field. And we can get name as a parameter to our form input text. After this we must also provide a control and our control is the control of the whole form. Again we need to provide it to the component. And the last one here will be a render function which is based on render props. The main idea is that here we will return new markup for this component. And we are getting here access to all render props from react hook form. Now what I want to render inside is a text field which is coming from UI material. Inside our text field I want to provide a size and it will be small always for our application. Then we need on change event and it will be render props dot field dot on change. So basically inside a component of material UI we are providing a callback from react hook form. Additionally we need here our value it will be render props field dot value. Also for styling we will use full width. We also need a label as a parameter, so we must provide this label from the outside. And for our styling variant will be outlined. Additionally to that we are losing the possibility to provide custom styles inside this text field because we put it inside form input text. In order to fix that we can provide here a 6 which we can also get from the outside. As you can see here we provided some stuff but it is all not typed. This is why here I want to create form input props which will be exactly an interface of everything that we will get in any custom component. This is why here inside our form components let's create a new file form input dot dash props dot ts and it will be just an interface form input props. We must provide here a name string then our control it will be any. Our label will also be a string. We can have a set value function here which will be any and s6 will be a six props of theme. This is the possibility to provide custom styling inside. Now inside here we can just import this form input props and our basic component is ready. 
Now we can jump back to our sum form and use this component here. So inside our form we can use now form input text, which is our custom component. We are providing here our name text value and we need to provide a control. We don't have control, we can get it from our use form. So now here we are passing inside control and also a label. It will be for example text input. And also we can provide here custom styling if we need, for example, margin bottom 2. So this is how we are using our new custom component, which is working together between React hook form and Material UI. But this is not all, we also didn't provide default values in our form. So here should be at least text value empty string. Let's check this out, now we can type something in the text input, hit submit, and we are getting on submit with correct text value. But now we are using material UI text input and not our normal input. But this is not all, we didn't build any validation to this component. Let's do this now. What I want to do here, first of all on the top, I want to create a validation schema for our component. So let's use for this yup as a validator. And here will be a validator schema where we're using yup.object and inside we must provide all our fields. In our case we have just text value for now and we can write that it must be a string and it is required and our error message will be missing text value. So we successfully created our validation schema, now we must pass it inside use form. So here will be a resolver, which will be a yup resolver that we installed and inside we are providing our validation schema. So this will bring all these errors inside our custom component already. But inside this component, inside render props, we have errors, but we are not using them here. This is why what we need to do, we need to render here an error attribute and actually it should be true. This is why here I want to write render props dot field state dot error, which means if we have an error, it will be converted to the boolean and then error will be true. And additionally here we can provide helper text with an error. So here will be render props dot field state dot error. Error can be undefined, so question mark dot message. In other case, we are providing inside null, which means either helper text is null or we provide there a message from the error. Let's check if it's working now. Here I will just hit submit, and as you can see now, we are getting red border and the helper text missing text value. Now we are typing something inside, hit submit, and our value is working correctly. This is how we can create a custom text input from Material UI and use it inside React Hook form. But what about something more complex, for example, a dropdown? I want to create here a new component form input dropdown dot tsx, and it will be our custom component with a dropdown. So here again, we must export our form input dropdown, and we're getting here our name, control, then label, and the six. And the data type here will be form input props. But actually there is a problem, it is not enough to have just these fields, additionally as this is a dropdown we want to get a list of dropdown elements, which actually means we must extend our props. This is why here let's create an interface form input dropdown props and it will extend from form input props. So we are getting all these fields but additionally I want field options which will be an array of objects with label which will be a string and also a value which will be a string. And now we want to use this interface and not form input props. Now here back we want to return a controller just like we did previously and here we must pass our name and also a control and a render function. Here we are getting our render props again and we need to return our markup. And what I want to return here is a form control, which will contain the whole element, because we want the a label and also the select. So here it will be an input label with id which will be name that we provided inside, and inside we are rendering our label. And after this we are rendering a select, also from UI material, we are providing inside on change event, which is again render props dot field dot on change a value it will be render props dot field dot value a six so we can customize it and a label and our label will be a name 
Now inside our select we need to render all our options and actually now we can get these options as a prop here. So let's map through our options and we're getting access to every single option and we want to render here a menu item where we need to have a unique key, it will be an option value and also a value itself, it will be option.value and inside menu item we can render our option.label so this is how our dropdown can look like. The idea is exactly the same, we are providing a name and a control, and inside render function we are rendering a form control with select and a label, where inside we are binding on change and value. Now let's render it inside our some form. So here will be a form input dropdown, where inside we pass a name dropdown value and a control. Also we need here a label, a dropdown input, and we need to pass here a list of options and this was an array with our objects for example label let's name it drop down option 1 and value will be 1 and let's create one more drop down option 2 and value will be 2 now here we must create a default value let's name it drop down value it will be an empty string and we must add it to our form values it is a string and here we must add it inside our validation schema we can say that it must be a string and it is required and our error message will be missing drop down value. Let's have a look in browser, here is our input, it doesn't have a value. We can select here different drop down option and now it is there. And as you can see our text input is validated but drop down option not. We can hit submit and get here because we didn't implement any validation to our drop down. And we can do it relatively easy, we must jump inside our input dropdown and on our form control we want to add an error. And in exactly the same way like before, it is render props field state dot error. And additionally here I want to apply some minimum width, so let's write here min width 200. Now after our select we can render an error message. So let's check if we have a render props dot field state dot error then we want to render an element form helper text and inside it we are rendering our render props dot fill state dot error dot message let's check if it's working now we are reloading the page hit and submit and as you can see this field is also validated we are getting missing drop down value it is highlighted red we can select it and now it is bluish we can type something inside our text input hit submit and we're getting our values inside submit function. And actually, if you're interested to prepare for the React interview to get a job and earn more money, I highly recommend you to check this video of mine where I covered lots of practical tasks and all possible React questions that you can get on the interview.